Jody. I have a new process video and this is for Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Today is day number one and we have that super cute circle sketch. So I first started with a very large picture of my boys. This was a couple years ago and I don't know how I haven't scrapbooked it yet but it was in my stash of pictures so I went ahead and grabbed it cut um oh gosh I have no idea what size size that is but um and then I got some pattern paper now for anyone following along this is um uh, my kit um stash building kit yes that's what it is um so yeah so it has a lots of patterns and different colors and um lots and lots of goodies from my stash i followed laura albert's um, recipe for building a stash kit and i absolutely love all the things i've been able to make from it this is my very first one and I love how it turned out now I believe Christy said this was the seventh time she has done 30 days of sketches I am so honored to be joining her for a couple of them I am um, I don't know at this point if I could do many more, but I did do four, five. Oh my goodness. I did all the Mondays. <laughs> yes, Mondays. So, um, so I'm excited to share all those and they're all from my, um, stash building kit. So that will be fun to see how I use that up. So I have finally got my main design down. I'm looking at all the other little things. And, and again, none of this stuff is brand new. This is all stash bits and pieces of things I've had left over. Um, so yeah, so I know those swirly um, thickers are from a Vicky Booten line. And then the pretty pinkish, purplish boys alphas were from an older hip kit. And little word stickers. I have like a stack of those. So those I have no idea where they're from. But they're, they just have little sayings, you know. Um enjoy the little things good stuff little things like that and this came together so quickly um, one because of the great sketch and two because I had all my you know all my bits ready to go here's one of the ephemera packs from hip kip club that I decided to try and use up um, yeah it's very interesting to see what kind of things I have left and you know meaning that's things I didn't use or I don't know it's it's it, it is it is very interesting to me to see what what I have left of certain things or why didn't I use these or you know I, I um I find it fascinating but these were both from hip kit club um one was definitely a summer from a summer kit and the other looks like it might have been a mother mother's day ish so you know a summer another summerish collection but um I had a good time going through everything again and I was able to use some things so yeah I'm I'm of course using the 
dimensional adhesive to pop a few things up. The little pink circle and the little blue tealish camera. I also added, added the out chasing rainbows. I thought that was super cute. Um, so boys out chasing rainbows. Um, the multicolored polka dot paper is actually one of my inspiration pages. So I definitely wanted to include that. The largest circle is actually from a Jane Davenport paper pad. Um, and it was just fun to mix and match. Those little hearts I'm adding are also from a Hip Kit Club kit. <laughs> How many times can I say kit? The last thing I do is add some good old black splatters and my favorite way to do that is with the shimmers I believe it's called night moves yes they're great they do not they stay nice and black so there it is day one thank you so much for watching I hope you continue to join in on Christie's beautiful life 30 days of sketches take care bye bye now